Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bitch. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a program of music featuring the organ, King of Instruments, in Music for Pedals. The organ is a unique instrument in that the performer is called upon to play with not only the hands, but the feet as well. In most cases, the pedals are played in combination with the hands. At other times, they are completely a solo instrument. Johann Sebastian Bach was perhaps the greatest composer for the organ who ever lived, especially in his preludes and fugues. The feet are called upon to imitate the hands, whether scales, arpeggios, or chords. In the prelude and fugue in D major, Bach begins the prelude with brilliant pedal runs imitated by the hands, and ends the prelude with chords in both hands and feet. The fugue melody is a series of 16th note patterns bounced around the organ from hands to pedal and back to the hands. This virtuoso piece for organ actually ends with a pedal cadenza from low D to high D. As if Bach were saying to the listener, anything the hands can do, the feet can do better.
Today on the Joy of Music, we are featuring music for organ pedals. In most cases, the organist plays the pedals in combination with the hands. But some composers have written music expressly for solo pedals. The English composer George Taubin Ball has done just that in his variations on a theme of Paganini. Here the organist is called upon to use every pedal technique possible in the playing of scales, arpeggios, glissandos, and chords of up to three notes in each foot. The registration or sounds of the pedal are also varied from the great 32-foot bombard to the tiny light two-foot flute. Let's listen now to variations on a theme of Paganini.
Earlier in the program, we heard the prelude and fugue in D major of Johann Sebastian Bach, which ends with a pedal cadenza. We hear now a more romantic style of writing, but again featuring a pedal solo. The Concerto Gregoriano of the virtuoso Italian composer Pietro Jan features a brilliant pedal cadenza at the end of the finale, which calls for the feet to play sweeping glissandos across the pedal board. Fast 16th note patterns and agile use of both toe and heel. A most unusual aspect of this performance is that it is for two organs and two organists. The orchestral part played by the great English organist Simon Preston. And I will be playing the solo organ part which features the pedal cadenza. The celebrated American organist John Weaver has written a composition which surely puts the pedal technique of the performer to the test. His stunning toccata begins first with a triplet figure in the hands, then jumping to the pedal and continuing in sequence to the end, where all of the resources of both organ and organist are brought into use.
Today on The Joy of Music, we have brought you Music for the Organ, King of Instruments, featuring Music for Pedals. We hope that you have enjoyed some of the more unusual aspects of this fascinating instrument called the organ. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.